Now you notice we kind of use some canned goods on some of this because again sometimes it's just easier to get your tomatoes products in a can but this is one place you don't want to be using cans. In fact the problem is most Americans that's the only type of baked beans they ever get in a can. Well guess what canned baked beans have no real texture you know. So what we're going to do is using some of these things and of course I've got dried beans that I have basically soaked overnight and then boiled for an hour so they're starting to get soft. Again, you don't, you want, you don't want to have golf balls, you want beans. But what I'm going to do is start off by taking a half of a slab of bacon. All right. And I'm just going to, I like to cut it into hunks, you know, because what I'm going to show you how to do, just kind of like what we did with the um, hot Mexican dip, to make really proper Boston baked beans, you need to layer it. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. We take our pot, in this case I'm using a Dutch oven. All right, into this, using a spoon, we're going to scoop a layer of beans. And I'm using about half. I'm only going to make this thing two layers thick. Okay. And onto that, I'm going to put some of my onions and green peppers. Okay. Then on top of that, I'm going to grab some of my bacon. I'm going to put a layer of bacon. And you just leave it just the way it is with the fat, because again, you know, that's going to give us a little bit of added flavor. Won't hurt anything. And of course, the smokiness of the smoked ham, which is bacon. All right. And then continue. And then once we get all the ingredients in there, then I will show you how to make the secret sauce. I'm all in there. Don't be shy, boys. There you go. And then repeat. Finish off with the last of your onions and your green peppers. Then we'll add the rest of the bacon. And I'll take you over to the other side of the kitchen and show you how to make the secret sauce because that's what's going to make these things absolutely delectable. I mean, once you actually have these, you'll never go back to having canned beans again because these are just so much better. Okay. Now I'm going to toss that little piece of fat out. You don't have to keep the white part of the fat. I mean, you really want mostly the, the bacon itself, so feel free to cull the herd a little bit like I'm doing here. You want some fat in there, but you don't want it swimming in the stuff. There you go. And then we're going to bake this bad boy down for about an hour. You can bake it up to four if you really want to. But again, since we're using the Dutch oven, the Dutch oven's kind of like a uh, variation on the uh, microwave and that it cooks food pretty fast, so you don't need to necessarily let it cook all damn day long. All right. There we have it. Let's go make the sauce. Okay, you can either make this sauce in a pan or in a pot. I'm just going to use my saute pan here. I'm going to put a, put a low flame under it because you will need to cook this a little bit. And what you're going to need are these things. You're going to need some brown sugar. You're going to need mustard. It could be prepared like I have here or dried mustard works just as well. You need some ketchup. You need some molasses. You need a little bit of salt, and you need some Worcestershire sauce. Okay, what I'm going to start off with is the molasses. And I like to use half a cup of molasses in this. Because again, this is what's going to bring the sauce together. So there you go. Start off with that. Try to get as much of it out of there as you can, but you know what they say about molasses in January, right? So there you go. All right. And into that, we're going to add our chup. 
You'll notice I'm being very careful about the amount that I put in here. Again, you want to put about a half a cup. I can guesstimate that that's a half a cup. Just adjusting the flame. I'll give it a little shot of salt. Going to give it a little squirt of Worcestershire sauce. Give it a little hit of the mustard. That would be enough. You don't want to over mustard it. And then the most important part is the brown sugar. I'm going to put in a half a cup of brown sugar. Feel free to use a measuring cup if you need to, guys. And then all you do is you just stir this bad boy with Mr. Spoon. Because what you need to do is get that cooked down into a nice sauce. And we're going to let it come up to a slow boil. Then we're going to taste it. And we can always make adjustments. The trick is you got to let the sauce come together because specifically the, um, especially the sugar, I'll let that cook into it. And speaking of sauce, you're probably wondering what happened to this bad boy, right? Well, what we're going to be doing is this isn't so much to go into this sauce as it is to go over the beans to keep them from getting too dry. So you'll see it'll all come together once we get this thing finished cooking. And like I said, it shouldn't take more than a minute or two to get the sauce done. I'm just going to dip my finger in there before it's too hot. Yep, that's that typical Boston baked bean flavor. About another 20 seconds or so, because like I said, I'm just going to let this thing come up to a bubble. And then what I'll do is I'll take it off the fire and we'll add it to our beans and toss on our bottle of beer. And we'll pop this in the oven. I'm, I've decided to do this in the uh, hot dip at about 400 degrees. Uh, this will take a full hour at, at 400. I will check on my uh, hot dip at about the 30 minute mark. It might take 45 minutes or so. Here we go. Starting to bubble. And again, you don't want to kill it. You just want to cook it. So I think that that has turned into sauce. So I'm going to stop that. We're going to go back over to the beans and complete the procedure. Let's make sure we get all the sauce out of there. All right. Once you put the sauce in, I'm going to give it a real brief stir just to make sure I even it out a little bit so I don't have it all on one side and none on the other. I mean it's all going to cook together and then I'm going to pour about two-thirds of a bottle of that on there. Let it soak down finish it off because again you want to make sure the beans don't get too dry. Last but not least I'm going to pop it in the oven. Set my timer for an hour, about 30 minutes I'll come back and I'll pop this bad boy in the oven. Let's open up Mr. Oven over here, see how our Boston baked beans are doing. Pop this bad boy out. Be careful with it, especially if you're using a Dutch oven because this thing is like lava hot. You don't want to burn yourself. Put that oh yeah, it's looking good. As you can see, I'll zoom in on it a little bit for you. What I'm going to do is give it a little stir. Make sure the stuff doesn't stick. And, uh, you know, I check the level of liquid in there. If I determine that there's too little liquid, at this point I would have added some more beer, but it looks good to me. So what I'm going to do is close this bad boy back up. Hopefully without burning myself. Push the whole thing back into there. And right next to it, I'm going to park our Mexican dip, which takes 30 minutes. How's that for a football feast? See you next time on Man Cave Munchies.